Hi, friend. Wherever this is finding you, thank you for tuning in to Thought by Thought, where we are rolling up our sleeves and getting a bit of a fine tuning to the lens through which we look at ourselves, our womanhood, our manhood. Completeness. Do you have it? Is it something you have to go get? Is it something you'll earn? Is it something that will become yours one day eventually? Do we need it? Do we need to care about it? Do we need to feel it? What does it mean to be complete? Let me frame it a different way. Ever feel lacking? Something's missing? Something's not a part of your life that's supposed to be? Hmm. Ever feel doubt? Ever feel afraid? Ever feel unsure of the you, your being? Completeness is a spiritual fact. It's who we are as image and likeness of divine love. But here's the thing about spiritual facts. <laughs> Knowing about them versus being them is a gap about that big. <laughs> you can't even see how outstretched my hands are. It's one thing to say. I'm complete. It's another thing to live it perpetually. So, talking about completeness, so you have a little tuck up, so that when you're going about your business and you feel that lack stuff come up, you can pause thought, tune back in, and remember the completeness you are within already. And see if that doesn't sort of hold your other thought in check. All the lack lie and the doubt stuff and the fear that makes you feel like a wreck. Completeness. A quote I work with all the time in the writings of Mary Baker Eddy in this particular book is her... Um, textbook, her complete statement on practical spirituality and healing. Page 57 in a really neato chapter called Marriage, she writes this, union of the masculine and feminine qualities constitutes completeness. I can do that. Can't you do that? Qualities, we already have them. Masculine qualities, feminine qualities, union of them. A union of masculine and feminine qualities constitutes completeness. Huh. Okay. So what's that look like when I am in my car driving and I get lost? Even if I have a map quest. Even if I'm talking to Siri and she's talking back. What does completeness look like? when I'm trying to brave a first step, like obtaining a lease for my own apartment? What does completeness look like if I have a proposal to pitch and I'm seeking venture capital for my yummy startup that I'm gonna have to convince them of? What does completeness look like when I'm trying to know that I'm doing okay in this job I have? even if they don't say so, or don't seem to see it. What does completeness look like when the folks I'm trying to get the thumbs up from don't even know I exist and aren't even looking? All of those scenarios touch all of us at different times in our lives. I just kind of toss them out there as, you know, showing you some different scenarios. You come up with your own. Remember the time 
I'm sure it was like as recent as yesterday or last night. Think about a time when you felt lack in any way and why. And hold this spiritual fact next to it. Union of masculine and feminine qualities, not stuff, not titles, qualities, not age, not status, etc. Qualities constitutes completeness. In the moments of doubt, we can roll up our thought sleeves and exude a bit more courage. In the moments of wondering why someone doesn't notice us, we can get real still and know that we're seen and valued. In the moments of, I don't know how to take this next step and I feel really lost, we can get still and realize in that very moment, completeness means there's an answer. And it might not be evident at that moment, but there's an answer. I could go on and on and on, and I welcome you to call or email me with your completeness need. What's the lack lie telling you? And how could this idea of completeness, union of masculine and feminine qualities, how could that help you? I'd love to hear. It's helped me, that statement, time and again. Go from feeling lost or a mess or invisible to seen and calm and not lost and aware of the next step to take. We are complete right now. We embody it. We just get to be it. Till soon. Thanks for giving a listen. This is Tree of Thought by Thought.net.